Hey there, agents. Welcome to Shadow Gaming. All right, so today we're going to be talking about a few things, um, all PTS related, but of course, this most of this will be sent over to the original game. So, we got the gunner specialization. I was not able to achieve the high amount of things you need to do, the five steps to do it, but I'll talk about it here in the video in a second. Otherwise, for non-season pass holders, you guys are going to have to go through this. So, I I hope that you guys are going to enjoy it. I didn't, to be totally honest. But, um, just the first step. But, we're also going to be talking about the new specialization tree. And also, I've noticed that when you create a new character on the PTS, they start you with one incredible build. So I'd like to show that off to you guys as well. So what you're seeing now go is going to be so the go, five steps up. that you have to take to get the gunner specialization. Once again, that's for non-season pass holders. I keep trying to say that, you know, it's it, it's a lot of work and it really is I mean I probably would assume that it could take somebody a hardcore player probably like maybe like five hours or four hours of just hard grinding but there are some intense stuff on here that you need to do Dude, like the that. first one isn't really that bad um, the second one though I mean yeah. you've got to go to the air and space museum and complete that um, you've got to capture all the southwest control points, defeat enemies that are trapped by, um, you know, this stuff. I mean, wow. It's incredible. Like, show me Wade, downtown demolitionist. I mean, you're going to have to switch through different specializations. You're going to have to switch through pretty much everything. You're going to need marksman rifle for the first one. You have to complete um, multiple resource convoys. You're gonna have to complete. Uh, you're gonna have to use heavy weapons um, on enemies in the open world. Jeez, man. Um, all right. So then you just need this LMG. So you use only an LMG to complete the control point activities, and then. The mounted guns one, it doesn't even say what you need to do, but I'm assuming it's probably around 100 enemies killed is what it looks like. I'm not totally sure, but anyway, I'm, I'm really thinking that this entire thing is a lot. Yeah, <laughs> uh, my character is doing the mode for that. So anyway, um, I'm switching over now to all right, so now I'm switching over to this brand new agent that you can make, and he's got an incredible build. I mean, it's a AR build mostly with a chatterbox in the second slot. But when you first look at it, I mean, you could just tell from this video right now. I'm going to show you. It's going over all the stuff that you have to do to get the, you know, gunner specialization. But anyway. Look at this build right here. I mean, you've got the chatterbox. I mean, you've got the all all the mods, the, you know, plus 10 rounds for the AR, um, you know, perfect for that uh that 3% damage with 10% ammo missing. You've got um the chatterbox equipped. You've got I think 90% damage to elites. Now, what I'm doing right now is checking out the specializations. It's the same as before. I mean, I did uh, submachine guns and LMGs and marksman rifles. You can have three specializations now where you do 15% more damage to that specific weapon. So, if you like assault rifles mostly, you know, go for 5, 10, 15% more damage. But at the same time, just remember, you can always respect that. So, you know, if you decide, oh, I'm going to start running with LMGs and shotguns instead of ARs and submachine guns, then get rid of the, you know, the sh 
uh, submachine guns and ARs or whatever and Good switch it over you. to the LMGs. Craft, this I'm is going to be great. This is a huge improvement, I think. And I honestly really respect that they did that. That they're starting to build more of the skill tree and create more of the in-game. Now, you're seeing all the specializations right now and demolition is pretty good but I, I usually use specialist and the sharpshooter one needs work but with this new update it, it, it you know you can add 15 percent to your marksman rifle damage which enables you to be able to just you know get more damage on your signature weapon as well i believe um don't quote me on that because I look at the base damage of the sniper rifle and it was still around 262,000 damage. Now this holster intel you are going to want to buy. I'm going to show you an imager post by a Redditor that I will credit because he did the work in the PTS and he was able to get the holster and this holster is amazing. But anyway back to this build, I mean wow like it's just incredible look at the stats on it i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the stats on it here in a second and it's just ridiculous it's a high-end build it's got hard hitting it's got three hard hitting it's got hardened unstoppable force it's got four hard hitting sorry it's got allegro nearsighted overlap incessant chatter uh, blabbermouth in rhythm um, finisher, box magazine, I mean, and then look at this weapon damage, 20% weapon damage, he's got, um, you know, uh, 278,000 armor, which is, you know, great. He's got no armor on kill and health on kill, because those are useless skills, but he does have a lot of skill power in certain areas, well, not a lot, but a good amount. But his elite damage is so high. I mean, it's almost at 100%. And that's what you need. You know, for all you guys out there looking for build videos, um, this is what you need. You know, I'm going through right now the Dark Zone perks, but what you really need is a build like this if you want to just shred with like an AR and a submachine gun or what actually whatever gun you want. It's mostly meant for like a shredder kind of guy that just, you know, kind of pops out of cover. And I'm going to show you in a minute some gameplay footage of me just running up out of cover, kind of Rambo style from the Division 1 killing people. And it doesn't really work out, but I mean, it doesn't work out like, you know, after me killing several, several people. Um, and that's because this game is no longer a Rambo style game but I did that because I wanted to see just how great this build was because I mean I still need to get that light extended uh, 5.56 magazine with 10 plus rounds I mean that's that's the magazine you want and it's a blueprint that you get from the control points that you do and they have to be level 3 or 4 now that's why I did some videos on control points. Now this next video part is going to be about me using the build. Now I thought that the build was really good so I really wanted to try it out. Um, I do a few things like loot some things you know it's kind of hard to not loot some things when even in the PTS you know you, you're used to always grinding and doing that grind there's a bug right there where you got running in motion um, that that wasn't some frame drop or something anyway I come out with the nemesis and I probably didn't mod it I'm, I'm assuming it's an exotic weapon that you can't mod so it, it sucks. I haven't managed to get the Nemesis yet or any of the exotics, but I've gotten to use them on the PTS and I definitely understand the reasoning for why. I did manage to get Merciless, but man, I deconstructed it because it was Gear Score 487 and that was so, so bad. I mean, bad. I don't know why I did that. It just killed me to do that. And it was on accident too. The worst kind of deconstruction. 
I mean, maybe it would have been worse if I did it on purpose, but my goodness, like, I, I couldn't believe it was gone. Cause, and then I had other people in my squad telling me that it was a bad gun. Can you, can you believe that? A bad gun. Merciless at 487 is not that good of an exotic. Go get Chatterbox and Nemesis. That's what I was told by several people that I was running with. And I still didn't listen to him. It was still an accident when I deconstructed it. Um, I think I was just playing too much and I accidentally hit V on it, but I should have favored it right away. I mean, right away. That gun is way too good to be doing that. So I suggest to you agents that you always favorite your exotics, your gear sets, whatever could be important later as well. But anyway, here's some gameplay of me running up and just shredding enemies. You can tell that it's not too easy to kill me. And you're gonna be able to tell that it's not too hard to take people out. I didn't get to a name delete, but I did get some reds and veterans and elites. So you're gonna be able to get to see all of that. I go in for some headshots. Keep keep doing headshots and I'm noticing what? This gun isn't as good as everyone said it was. Did I mod it? Like so that, that that's what I'm wondering. And yeah, I know. A, a division agent with now here's the AR. And the AR is just incredible, you know? You, you've got... And then this guy's shooting me from behind, but my health is dying slow. My armor's dying slow. I throw on an armor kit, and I'm ready to go. And I, I dodge that fire, kill her within a second and a half. So this AR I'm using, that's, you know, just a regular AR. No special talents on it. And then I switched to Nemesis. But either way, it doesn't matter. I mean, use your imagination. Say I had uh, a classic M60 with, uh, like what I'm running right now, a classic M60 with a, uh, what is it? Uh, I, have a, I have a military P416 with really good talents on it. But also, I like to run it with a shotgun as well. See, look, the AR just eliminates them immediately. And you really don't get any damage taken too hard. And remember, I'm ramboing it. I'm barely taking cover. I'm not really doing a whole lot to really, um, you know, defend myself and hold some survivability. So here comes up to the last part where I'm going to end up doing a resource convoy and dying there. But you'll get to see some intense gameplay from it. So here we go. We're headed towards um, a control point just to wrap it up. And basically this resource convoy, I just start taking out. And look look at my armor. I mean, it's not getting depleted very hard. I mean, um, my build currently right now, I mean, I would have probably threw on an armor kit after running out like that. And then you got this mini gunner on me. And I keep trying to hit him with the nemesis. And the headshots just aren't hitting. I probably need to aim a little higher. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The point of this build is to show you the survivability. And how hard the AR hits towards elites. And towards anybody else. And how really just you know how well you can survive with a build like this so i definitely recommend you go back to the beginning of the video and look at the build anyway agents it's been a pleasure talking to you guys and i would like to talk some more so please like subscribe and comment below for more content thank you all agents